If you do calisthenics, you need to start doing this to speed up your progress. That is to mix weights with calisthenics. Now hold on for a second and hear me out. I'm not saying that you can't make progress with only body weight, but you'll get the best results if you combine both according to your goals. For example, if you want to learn the one arm push up, we all know that in it, the chest, shoulders and triceps are involved. So why not add tricep pushdowns as an accessory exercise? They're not very fatiguing, they build muscle and strength fast, and their progress is also very easy to track. This exercise might not help you directly improve your one-arm push-up, but it will help you build muscle and strength in that specific area faster so that you can transfer that strength to the one-arm push-up later. I mean, look at arm wrestlers, for example. Almost all of them use weight exercises to build strength in the needed areas and then they transfer it to their arm wrestling. To get better at arm wrestling, you need to arm wrestle, but building strength with weights and then transferring that to the table really helps. So we can easily apply the same concept to calisthenics. Train the skill you want to learn specifically, but also add in accessory exercises, which could be with body weight or without body weight. Don't shy away from lifting weights and doing calisthenics at the same time. The idea of being a body weight purist is dogmatic, and you should add in weights if you feel like it will help you. Street lifters also do gym related exercises to improve their lifts. For example, in weighted dips, to improve their weighted dips, people do bench press, overhead press, tricep push downs. To improve their weighted pull up, they could do bicep curls and rows, and you can do the same. Also, speaking of street lifting, doing weighted dips, weighted pull-ups, weighted push-ups can really help you in some of the other skills that you want to learn. For example, for your one-arm pull-up training, weighted pull-ups are a staple. This is great because if your progress is stagnant on the main progressions of the skill, you can at least know that you're getting bigger and stronger in some way by getting better at the accessory exercises. And this is easier to do with weights because with weights, you linearly increase the weight so you can track progress easily. But with progressions of skills, it's really hard to predict the exact jump in difficulty. And more often than not, the jump in difficulty between one progression to another in skills is actually quite drastic. And to help you bridge that gap, accessory exercises can be really useful. Plus with doing weight exercises, it's really easy to isolate and build muscles that are hard to hit with only body weight. Which brings me to my next point and that is hypertrophy. So if aesthetics and hypertrophy is your main goal, then combining weights and calisthenics is the best way to go. For example, it's hard to isolate the side delts with only regular body weight pushing exercises. So using dumbbells for lateral raises can be a good alternative. Plus doing specific isolation exercises for that muscle group will help you build muscle faster in that specific area. For example, doing chin-ups and bicep curls will build your biceps faster than only doing chin-ups. Don't forget to keep doing your compounds though because they still build a lot of muscle. So that's pretty much it for this video. Now that we've learned on how to add weights in calisthenics to boost your progress, watch this video right here to learn how to break plateaus in calisthenics and boost your progress even faster. So yeah, subscribe if you found value, like the video as well. See ya.